will go through suggest questions. These ones I'd say are the hardest because sometimes you understand what the question is saying and you can predict what the answer is, but sometimes it's very challenging. And remember, any questions that you found hard or didn't get the answer for, either write them down on a piece of paper or make a document so that you have that bank of questions that you can review, I don't know, every month before an exam, anything like that. Because then you're training yourself to identify patterns between the answers and the questions. So yes. Now let's see what these questions are talking about. Just by skimming through, you can see that they vary a lot, don't they? At the top we have suggest how you could test for the presence of trailers. I mean, what is trailers? We are not taught it in the specification, but I'll get onto that in a bit. Then we have roles of hydrogen and sodium at the bottom, why cells do not need to be crushed before adding detergent. Um, yeah, many more. So now think to yourself, what do they all have in common? The thing I identified was that the questions are all in a specific context, right? Some that we do know and some we don't. Like the top one, we don't know. Um, II, which is the leg hemoglobin, we also don't know about that one. So it's a bit of a hit or miss, but once you understand and can think how the examiner wants the answer to be like, it will be much easier. So let's go through an example. Right, this one. I know I say don't read the context, but this one you would have to read the context for because we do not know what trellos is. So let's read the question. Some organisms use a, a disaccharide called trellos as a respiratory substrate. Trellos has a similar structure and very similar chemical properties to sucrose. Bingo. That last sentence, very similar chemical properties to sucrose, is your answer. That is how you're going to write your answer. Because we aren't taught about it in the specification, are we? So this is an example for application question. You just write what you do know. So you know what the test for sucrose is. So that's that's what you're going to write. If you look at the mark scheme, it says carry out Benedict's test. And if test for reducing sugar is negative, boil with dilute hydrochloric acid and retest with Benedict's. Easy. Now, another one. So this one, you don't even need to read the top sentence. All you need to write, like, right, all you need to read is what are the roles of hydrogen and sodium in flowers, really. That's all you need to know. Um, so how would you approach this? If you're looking at this and you're stuck and you don't know what's going on, then rephrase the question to make it, make it make sense for you, of course. So what is the general role? of hydrogen in plants and what is the general role of sodium in plants and that's your answer so as i like to end this off as i normally do two most important exam techniques are read the question first because that is where the answer is going to derive from and state all obvious points because you don't want to lose a mark for something that you knew and you were thinking but you just didn't write so yeah try it out go I actually would suggest looking at various different topics for suggest questions because they come in a different style, I like to say. Um, I don't know, when you look at exchange services to cloning a biotech. So yeah, have a, have a go and let me know how it goes.